Hola, it's Bill here, Bill Griff, and today I've woken up to see that the Criterion announcements for February of 2023 have been released. As per usual, I know nothing about the announcements. I'm going in very much blind, so these reactions are genuine. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I really can't guess. I'm just going to look at my phone and see what my email tells me. We're going to scroll down. First film is... Ro Romeo and Juliet? Okay, I got scared. I thought this was like Shakespeare love for a sec. Damn, we got a Romeo and Juliet film here. What? Wow. Okay. I mean, the cover is interesting. Next film. The second film is... India song, as well as Baxter, Vera Baxter, two films by Marguerite Duras. All right, the third film, guys, this is, this is a wild month. Third film is Hollywood Shuffle. Oh, I like this cover. That looks kind of cool. The next film is, oh, yes, the Three Colors trilogy in 4k this time so rip anyone who has it in blu-ray you i don't know you might have to double dip okay next film is tasty confused in 4k what okay <laughs> all right well that's the month guys one two three four five you know what this is pretty underwhelming. Releasing February 7th, 2023, we have spine number 587. This is a 4K updated version of Krzysztof Kieslowski's uh, Three Colors trilogy, more specifically blue, white, and red that signify the French flag. Each of these films follow a different uh, female actress I know Juliette Pinoche is the main star for blue. Julie Delpy is the star for white. And Irene Jacob is the star for red. I'm going to be honest, guys. I haven't seen any of these three films, so I don't exactly know what they're about. I just know that these are three iconic films that I'm definitely sleeping on and should probably get to watching very soon. Releasing February 14th. Oh, it's a perfect time for that is spine number 1171. This is Romeo and Juliet. I think we know the plot of Romeo and Juliet, right? I mean, just watch Nomeo and Juliet and you'll know exactly what's happening. Two people fall in love and shit, shit happens. And I just realized the star of this film who plays Juliet is Olivia Husey. And I love her in the original Black Christmas film from 1974. So that's the only thing making me interested in this film. Otherwise, this is just another Romeo and Juliet film. Unless someone here in the comments can tell me what makes this film all the more eloquent. I mean, maybe it's the score from Nino Rota, that's pretty cool. Or the Oscar winning costumes and cinematography, but I don't know, Romeo and Juliet's never been a story that's interested me. Releasing February 21st, we have a 4K updated version of Spine number 336. This is Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused. Kind of a high school last day uh, hangout movie set in the 70s. It's got a lot of famous people. Most, More specifically, this was Matthew McConaughey's very first role. And he. this is the movie where he says, all right, are you? okay, you get the point. Days to Confuse is a pretty fun movie, in my opinion. It is one of the best to ever do a hangout movie or a stoner comedy. Like, this is just so chill. <laughs> so chill. Richard Linklater... Say what you will about him, but he did a pretty good job making Dazed and Confused. It's just a total vibe and is a total time capsule to the 70s. Releasing February 28th, we have spine number 1172. These are two films by Marguerite Duras. They're both French films centered around women. More specifically, India's song is about an ambassador's wife that kind of is bored and wants to go through all these different affairs. And... Baxter Vera Baxter is about a woman recalling her life and contemplating her existential crisis that she's having thinking about what's gone with her life and her current love affair. So, you know, it's about two cheating French women. That's very fun. Um, I have not heard of Marguerite de Ross. I've not seen any of her films, but 
she did write Hiroshima Monomore, which I find to be an amazing, amazing romance film about an interracial relationship. And wow, wowie kazowie, just because of that, I'm definitely intrigued to see these two films. Because why not? Finally, releasing February 28th, we have spine number 1173. This is Hollywood Shuffle by Robert Townsend. I believe I've seen this film. This is where Robert Townsend plays the titular character. Well, not the titular character. He plays the main character, Bobby Taylor, who gets racially typecasted in this like black exploitation film. And he he kind of is conflicted about being an actor in this film because, you know, it's exploitative. It's not very uh, um, racially friendly. And he wants to maintain a positive uh, role model to his younger brother. And this is a satire on how Hollywood treats its black actors. I'm actually glad this is in the collection. I think it's important. Sadly, you know what? I've noticed most Criterion films, they're not releasing the DVD anymore for the new releases. So that's, that's interesting. They're just kind of out with the old and with the new. With that being said, guys, Hollywood Shuffle, two films by Marguerite Duras, Dazed and Confused, Romeo and Juliet, and the Three Colors Trilogy. That, that is the month for February, guys. I am very, very underwhelmed, to say the least. But hey, at least we'll get a 4K, Three Colors. I can pick that up finally and watch those films. Um, now it's your turn. Tell me down below in the comments which of these films interest you the most. And have a good day. Watch a good film. That's been Bill, guys. See you later.